Thank you so much, friends. We're so glad y'all like that old-timey music here tonight. <laughs> we love playing the station in. This is an iconic place here in town. It's an iconic place in our industry, and we're so thankful to be here. Thanks you to JT and the folks here at the station in for having us. <laughs> One of our favorite places to come. Uh, Cause folks around here like that old music just like we do. I'd like to introduce the trio to you real quick before we really get started. And I'm gonna start down there on the end. If any of you have ever seen any of our videos on the YouTube, you might have seen my brother Vernon Dean, who we call VD. <laughs> he played the banjo with the group for many, many years, and uh, but uh, but he's retired now. He he lives in a teepee out behind Grandmommy's old house. He makes dream catchers out of cat hair. Uh, but over here to my left on the banjo, that's his boy, and he's doing a fine job on the banjo. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Dale Burnendale, DVD Cleverland. <laughs> We're sorry his brother STD couldn't be here tonight. <laughs> Uh, he had a test he had to take tomorrow. <laughs> but this one right here, this is my nephew. I've known him his whole life, and he's my sister Delva's boy, and he does a fine job on the doghouse base. He comes all the way from Oney, Arkansas. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Ricky Lloyd, clever lad. <laughs> Lloyd, if you don't mind, I'd like to brag on you for a minute. He's, he's a good boy. He's a great a uh, doghouse player, he's also, he's a, got a big heart, and uh, that's what I love about him. He loves animals, and he believes all animals are sacred, and that's why we have a benefit for Save the Whales out at Cleverly Mountain. Every year on the third week in October, we invite all of you out. We have a benefit squirrel hunt for Save the Whales. <laughs> For every squirrel you kill, 11 cents is donated to the Save the Whale Foundation. <laughs> For three days, we kill the crap out of everything that moves. If it's brown, it's down, and we eat it. And thus far, we have raised $22.33. Yeah. I know that don't add up to some of you. A lot of them are half kills. You can't really count a whole one whenever they walk away on their front legs. <laughs> Too far, really. <laughs> but we, <laughs> we encourage you to have a heart. Kill a squirrel and save a whale. <laughs> Over here to my right, is my nephew. I've known him his whole life. He also happened to be my brother VD's boy. He happened to be DVD's twin brother. <laughs> They're not identical. They're genital. <laughs> Y'all need to catch up with us. We only got two hours. If we got to wait for every punchline, it's going to be a while. <laughs> he's a good boy, and I tell you what, he's a fine mandolin player and a great singer, ladies and gentlemen. That right there is Cub Cleverlad. <laughs> and down there on the end, a lot of you's probably saying, hey, there's Woody from Toy Story. Others is thinking if Nancy Pelosi and Don Knotts had a kid. <laughs> he's a good boy, and he's a great fiddle player. He is my nephew, and I love him to death. Great singer, great player. Ladies and gentlemen, he come all the way from New Nada, Arkansas. How about a big hand for Sock Clever Lad? <laughs> I am the Dr. Digger Cleverly, and we are the Cleverly Trio. Thank y'all so much for coming out to the station in. Let's get with it, boys. Um, you know what? Um, I like all the players. Um, Take a tea, no doubt. <laughs> 
Play on, play that. Play on, play that. Play on, play that. Lloyd, drop the verse. It's going down, fit the cleverly. My home is got a grass hop creased. Poor black acting up down. Put it down, never slouch. As long as my panic and about to dog couldn't catch it straight up. Now tell me who can stop when Ricky's making moves attracting honeys like a magnet. I'll give it a beer. Guess it's with my mellow accent. Still moving this flavor. With my homies smoking BD. The original rum shaker shot it. Get down, get low. Baby got a little bit of a lover
Thank you so much. We like to uh, we like to recognize people from all genres of music. Right now, we'd like to do one from the Queen of Country, a lady named Gaga. <laughs> your barrel might. I want you ugly, I want your disease. I want you everything as long as it's free. I want you love. You love, love, love. I want you love. I want your drama, the touch of your hands. I want your leather studded kiss and a sand. I want you love. You love, love, love. I want you love. You know that I want you, you know that I need you, you bad, bad romance. I want your love and all your lovers ripping you and me, Carada bad romance. I want your love and all your lovers ripping you and me, Carada bad romance. Whoa. Arkansas. Anybody from Arkansas? Good to have both of y'all. <laughs> they didn't sound very proud of it either, did they? <laughs> well, and I, and I get it, because, you know, we travel all over the country. There's a lot of negative stereotypes about people from the South. How many people from the South we got here? <laughs> you hear them all the time. That makes me mad, because I come from a normal family. Had normal parents, and I remember they got married. I was four years old. <laughs> my mom and my stepdad got married when I was four years old. My stepdad raised me up just like I was his. He's a good man and a good dad. I knew he was going to be a good dad because he's a great uncle. Not my uncle, you sickos. <laughs> 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 
my mom's uncle. <laughs> Technically, he's my great uncle daddy is what he is. <laughs> but he raised me up like I was his, and I appreciate that, you know. And, and you know, to their credit, you know, my, my folks, they got married in the 70s, you know. And, uh, and back in the 70s, in rural Arkansas, they didn't have fancy dating sites like Ancestry.com. <laughs> so it was a little harder to meet folks. But we come from a little tiny town. Uh, uh, the, the county seat in our county, Stone County, Arkansas, is Mountain View. We come from a suburb of Mountain View, Canespur, but Canespur is a suburb of Fox. And uh, Fox is where we went to school at. I, I graduated uh, with a class of six people. That's the truth. I always get some smart at it. Were you the valedictorian? <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> I was not. I was. I was in the top six. <laughs> Strong top six. My ambition was to be a meteorologist when I graduated high school. Uh, I knew, uh, you know, if a tornado was coming, I could get close to it. Because, you know, they're always coming after someone that talks like me. <laughs> We're the only ones you ever see on TV describing them. Have you ever noticed that? Why is that? You know, I think the media gets that guy because they know it's going to be a colorful interview. You never see this guy. Oh, it was horrible, Claire, and I was polishing a Mercedes Benz. Well, we noticed it come over the back privacy fence. I thought, oh, no, it's going to suck the pool dry. <laughs> You never see that guy, because he's got insurance. <laughs> I bet you've seen this guy, though. Mine, it was terrible. <laughs> I was on the couch watching Dog the Bounty Hunter. <laughs> Old lady, she was on the roof putting shingles on the trailer. The truth is, we've had a lot of things happening in Arkansas. We've even got earthquakes now because they found out we got gas. And it's natural to us. <laughs> and they started drilling for it. And I'm not making this up. I saw it on the Discovery Channel. It's called fracking. And the fracking started messing with their seismic plates and causing these tremors. The biggest one we have is in a little town called Guy, Arkansas. A uh, guy is about half the size of Fox. And it was a 3.7. That ain't, I know that ain't nothing compared to what they have on the West Coast, but it shook some hillbillies up. <laughs> and the news was up there too, live at five at four. <laughs> Y'all get that show? <laughs> they were talking to this lady. These are her exact words. She said, our house ain't shook that bad since they parked it here. <laughs> You kids, hush, I'm on the TV. <laughs> but I love being from Arkansas. Love our little small town. It's a small, we didn't even have a U-Haul service. Had a generic U-Haul called Y'all Haul. <laughs> it doubles as our humane society. <laughs> Last time I was there, they had a box of kitty cats out front they was trying to give away and my wife stopped off to play with them. I went inside because I have known this man my whole life. And he loved picking on me since I was a little bitty kid. But he talks like he just got his tongue pierced. <laughs> Except he didn't. You know anybody like that? As soon as I walked in, he goes, Oh, look at Diggle Quivoy. <laughs> Thinking he'd cool wearing them sunglasses. What do you say to Hollywood? I said, I need a moving rig. He said, you want a twerk or a twirler? <laughs> I said, <"A> twerk? <laughs> I 
He said, you down a water turf? I don't know. <laughs> what the matter, boy? The attack got you tuned? <laughs> you got a water tub? You got a water tub? You probably want a big truck about a 32, 34 foot or that way. You can did it all in one whoa. Before I tell you, you shoot a big truck like that, I'm on the drug, tell you. You want any drug? I said, no. He said, all right, pass the drug, tell you. Unbeknownst to me, my wife had walked up behind me with a couple of them kitty cats in her hands. I swear he go, damn some putty teddies right there. <laughs> you laugh, and she did not know him. She ran out of that building with them tats. I was honest with him. I said, you, you probably should have said tittens. <laughs> or titty tat. <laughs> Would have been more appropriate. Kill me. In the summer, Jim Pine trees, the woods of monkey view, breathing my veins on the mouth of the jungle, with a black jack eyeball, gray painted vegetable dog food stalls, a big chicken and fatty hole. Cut the head line. Flaming and a loser in a cruise control. Maybe down in Reno with her vitamin D. She got a couple of cows, but a sleep on the low seat. Someone says I'm insane to complain about the shotgun wedding and the stain in my shirt. You can't believe everything that you breathe. You get a parking violation and the maggot on your sleeve. Yo. Door. I'm a 
Mr. Baby Sumbadão de teu bem dedicate this next song to anybody out there that might be celebrating a broken heart tonight. If, if, if you have a broken heart this evening, please stand so we can talk about you for a second. <laughs> and uh, we are live streaming this event, so uh, the folks at home would like to see you and maybe talk about you as well on social media. <laughs> Pass it around amongst their tweaker and their Instagrams. <laughs> If there's no one with a broken heart at this moment, it is our prayer that by the end of this evening, somebody in this room or at home on the live stream will have a broken heart. And that way this song will make sense to you. This is a little song called Owner of a Lonely Heart.
she's a bad mamma jammer Just as fine as she can be She's a bad mamma jammer Just as fine as she can be She's a bad mamma jammer Just as fine as she can be Yeah I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to go to old Mexico because I didn't speak no Spanish. None of us up here on this stage speak any Spanish. Old Cub, he said, but it's a tourist destination. First place we go into, I got to go to the bathroom. Nobody else in there but me. Whole row of empty urinals. And this old boy gets the one right next to me. Well, the fellas can tell you, ladies, that ain't right. <laughs> fellas, help me out here. It ain't right, is it? It's against bathroom etiquette. We're taught this as young men. You're supposed to get the farthest one available. This dude was crowding me. I looked down, he was wearing flip-flops. I thought, okay, I got the upper hand. He, he gets in closer, I'm splashing him. He didn't do nothing. He looked at me once. I was like, hi, senor. He said, I seen yours, too. <laughs> we had us a good time down there. We went to this place called Spice. I love spicy food. Anybody like spicy food? <laughs> That's why I like that hot chicken here in Nashville. I, I just really like it, you know. And uh, But I ain't one of them idiots that'll, you know, eat something I have to sign a waiver for. <laughs> you know, I ain't entered no contest or nothing like that. I'll promise you that. But I like something with a little kick to it. Well, the waiter come by, and uh, he set down this platter of all these different things made out of different types of chili peppers. And he had this one. It was called a ghost chili Okay, you've heard of it. I had not. But I was being cautious. You can ask Cub. I asked the old boy, I said, hey, is this real spicy? I swear he goes, it's a little pepper. <laughs> I translated that to be, uh-uh. <laughs> I was wrong. It lit me on fire. I mean, lit me on fire. Far. I had sweat running, my lips swelled up, my skin tightened up. I looked like Bruce Jenner just. <laughs> Sorry, we still call him Bruce in Arkansas. <laughs> but that waiter come back over, I'm like, hey, I thought you said this was a little pepper. 
He's a little papa, very hot. <laughs> and that wasn't the worst of it. <laughs> Two thirty that morning. <laughs> I was awoke. <laughs> but the only thing I can describe it as it sounded like a pod of dolphins. <laughs> trying to escape my lower intestines. <laughs> I ain't trying to get in y'all's business, but have you ever sat on a toilet so long your legs went to sleep? I look like a newborn calf, just. <laughs> and the next day, Ricky Lloyd had arranged for us to go on a snorkel trip. <laughs> and I was excited because we were going to get to ride on a seaplane. Any of you ever been on a seaplane? I had not, but I had always watched a show called Fantasy Island. Any of you old enough to remember Fantasy Island? You remember that plane? That's the plane I thought we were going to hop on. That was not our plane. Our plane looked like a crop duster duct taped to a flat bottom boat. <laughs> Didn't look seaworthy or airworthy. And they had this little fella down there asking everybody how much they weighed before they got on it. I said, why would you need to know that? He said, so I wouldn't know how much fuel to put in the plane. <laughs> I said, feel it up. <laughs> I was picking that Spanish up pretty good, cub. <laughs> but I was wrong about the plane and the pilot. Y'all, this guy took us out and to this deserted island in the middle of nowhere. It was completely deserted except for a buffet. I had the best seafood buffet I'd ever had in my, I mean, better than Shoney's. <laughs> had, <laughs> had these peel and eat them shrimps. It was the juiciest shrimps I've ever had in my life. And I ate, I don't know how many of them I ate. And DVD was with me. He had a whole pocket full of them things. He was saving for later. And we, boy, we was tearing them up. To, and then the old boy's like, okay, time to snorkel. I said, you want, you want us to get in the ocean smelling like shrimp? <laughs> I'm from the Ozarks, and even I know that ain't right. <laughs> Don't y'all get shark week down here? I worry about sharks. Uh, any of you just watch Shark Week? I watch them shows. And I'll be honest with you, I feel bad for them folks' pain. But you know what? They brought it on themselves, right? I mean, before they go in there, they know it's a possibility they could get bit by a shark or something. Everything in the ocean's got teeth, <laughs> except for half the folks swimming in it. <laughs> I think people need to start taking responsibility for their own ignorance. If you do something dumb and it don't work out for you, it's your fault. Are y'all with me on that? I ain't running for political office either, so don't ask. That's just how I feel. Like it was, wasn't long ago one of them trainers at SeaWorld got killed by a whale. That's tragic, especially for the family of that person, but. Y'all. <laughs> they did that to themselves. Right? What kind of whale was that? Killer whale. They even named it that. <laughs> I don't know how a sperm whale got his name. 
I do know I ain't swimming with him. <laughs> Especially if I'm wearing cologne. <laughs> or these unbreathable polyester britches. <laughs> Even though they do make my butt look good. <laughs> no, I ain't showing you either. Okay, I will. <laughs> Planet Fitness. <laughs> I'd like to get old Sock up here and do one for you, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all want to hear Sock sing a good old traditional song? He's a dandy, and boy, he can sure sing. Sock, you got one for us? Yeah, I'd like to send this one out to my mama. It's a song that uh, she used to sing to me when she was a kid. <laughs> song is ne very near and dear to her heart. Relates to real life experiences. I'll do it my time. <laughs> One, two, three. With the ball and chain Where they call me by a number Not a name Oh Lord Gotta do my time I've gotta do my time With a taking heart Yeah, 
down with that gal of mine. My mom had short-term memory loss. She'll be waiting for me. When I've done my Sock. I'm proud of all these boys. They're good pickers and singers, ain't they good, y'all? We're gonna have to take a break here in a minute and let everybody refill your glasses. And, and uh, we need to empty our bladders. And uh, so we'd love to sign your autographs in the bathroom if anybody wants to come in there. <laughs> Me, this we're gonna be doing a meet and greet in that bathroom here in the middle. <laughs> but you know, we wouldn't be able to do this, and we got a set, another set coming up of a whole lot of great old traditional songs, and, and we're gonna unveil a couple new ones for you that's off of our new album that we're bring, that we're uh, just signed with Mountain Home Records, and and uh, uh, out of Ash, uh, Asheville, North Carolina. And uh, we're really excited about this new project that we got coming. So we're gonna we're gonna do some stuff off of that new album for you. But uh, I'd like to do the one right now to end this set with uh, with the one that kind of started it all for us. And see, I got two boys. I got Digger Junior. and Digger Junior Junior. And uh, they both been you know they both play and sing. They was in the band at one time or another. Junior, he's a performance artist and he picks up center blocks with various body parts and log chains. <laughs> We're real proud of him. <laughs> now Junior Junior, he's into all this socialized media. He's the one that got us started on the on the Facebook and on the YouTubes and the Tweaker and all that kind of stuff. And Farmersmingle.com <laughs> But he told me one day, we were doing this, we do this gig in, uh, in Forsyth, Missouri at a place called the, the Chinese Burrito. <laughs> it's authentic Chinese and Mexican food. Uh, my, favorite, my favorite dish they got is called the American Burrito and it's half Chinese food and half Mexican food rolled up in a tortilla. <laughs> it's really, it's actually pretty good. But we, we used to do a house gig there every Saturday night. And, and uh, Junior Junior said, he said, Daddy, I want to post some of this stuff on the YouTube. And I, I told him, son, I said, son, don't mess around with that internet. They'll steal everything you got. Well, next thing I know, he posted it on the YouTube and it caught a virus. <laughs> and people was passing that around. And the next thing I know, we was playing the, the Grand Ole Opry. And we was playing the Station Inn in Nashville, Tennessee. Iconic places that we'd always wanted to play. And it's all because of this old-timey song by the Black Eyed Peas. One, two, three, four.
I got a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good, good night. A feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good dang night. Tonight, yeah. Let's live it up. Let's live it up. I got my money. Yeah. Let's live it all. Spend it out. Get out of the bash. Like how my car. Like my car. Jump off a sofa. Come on. Let's kick it off. I know that we'll have a ball if we get that and go out and just as a ball. I feel just that and boom, let it go. Let's get way out in space, that and lose our control. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Feel like my cup. Right. We're so glad that y'all stuck around. I don't know what that says about y'all, but we're thankful. We'd like to start off with an old time favorite here. This is a song we'd like to dedicate to all of our bluegrass heroes, if you would. You got your Earl Scruggs, your Lester Flat. Bill Monroe. <laughs> you red hot chili peppers, the list goes on and on. This is a little song called By the Way. Standing in line to see the show tonight, and there's a light on. Girls, 
Paul Jackson. Mountain top sounds high, low to Molly and Timber. But nobody on them ride with them. If you want to make it down that road, they the one to pay the girl. Billy Ray, Dub Crow, Sammy Sheeler. Standing in line to see the show tonight, and there's a light on. Heavy glow. By the way, I tried to say I'd be there. Waiting for Danny the girl is singing songs to me beneath the marquee of her soul. By the way, I tried to say I'd be there. About to get high, dry, seldom seen. It's gonna get tight. Oh, Billy Ray, Charlie, Big Mom. Standing in line to see the show tonight, and there's a light on. Heavy glow. By the way, I tried to say I'd be there. Waiting for Danny the girl is singing songs to me beneath the marquee. Thank you so much, friends. We'd like to do one for all the ladies here tonight. We'd like to do one for all the ladies here tonight. Say my name, say my name when no one is around you. Say, baby, I love you if you ain't running game. Say my name, say my name. You acting kind of shady, ain't calling me baby. Why the sudden change? Say my name, say my name when no one is around you. Say, baby, I love you if you ain't running game. Say my name, say my name. You acting kind of shady, ain't calling me baby. Any other day, I will call you the same. Baby, how's your day? But today, it's the same. Every other word is a honey, huh, okay. Could it be the Jew or the crib of another lady? If you took it there, first of all, let me say that I'm not the doctor. Shouldn't be the reason why life is strange Somebody's holding you back from me Cause I know how you should do Saying everything to me times two Why can't you just tell the truth Someone to tell me who Say my name, say my name When no one is around you Say baby I love you If you ain't running game Say my name, say my name You acting kind of shady Ain't calling me baby Why the sudden change Say my name, say my name 
is around you Say baby I love you If you ain't running games Say my name, say my name You acting kind of shady Ain't calling me baby Medicine and What name. is up with this? Tell the truth, who you with? How would you like it if Came over with my click? Don't try to change it now See you gotta bounce One, two seconds to go Said you just got in the house Oh, to a thief you're at home by yourself. I just heard the voice, the voice of someone else. Just this question, why do you feel you got a lie? Getting caught up in your game when you cannot say my name. I know you think I'm a stupid thing. Someone going down that's the way it seems. Shouldn't you raise one up to the strange? Somebody holding you back from me. Cause I know how you should do. Saying everything to me times two. Why can't you just tell the truth? Someone there, then tell me who. Say my name, say my name When no one is around you Say baby I love you If you ain't running games Say my name, say my name You acting kinda shady Ain't calling me baby Why the sudden change? Say my name, say my name When no one is around you Say baby I love you You ain't running games Say my name, say my name You acting kinda shady Ain't calling me baby Better say my name much we'd like to do a cleverly's original song and uh i'll tell you the inspiration for this song we uh we live on cleverly mountain our nearest neighbor's about a mile and three quarter down the mountain from us and uh we've never officially met this man he, he's lived he's lived down the down at the foot of the hill for about 20 years now We'll pass him, he'll be out in the yard of work, and he'll wave, he seems friendly. But he don't ever come around, and, and uh, he seemed like he was the type of fellow who wanted to keep to himself. And one day, I'm coming in from town, and I drive by his farm, and he always had a pretty nice garden out behind his house. And uh, this particular day, I, I, was, I was driving up the mountain, and I happened to notice there's a bunch of black SUVs with tinted windows out there at his place. And, and this German Shepherd dog out there sniffing around his garden and his made of plants. <laughs> and come find out he did not have any maidas out there. 
But he did, and it was in the paper. This can be confirmed. He had 900, 900 plants back there. And now, that inspired me to write this song. Now, he won't know about it for 8 to 10. <laughs> but it happened to make it on our last EP. And it happened to be the title track to that EP. It's a little song called Cash Crop. Hope you enjoy it. One, two, three. Joel Samples was a good old boy, just tired of being poor. Lived down in the hollow and he never had a dollar from the very first day he was born. Lay one night around the bugs, up and might have came up with a business plan. Surefire way to really get paid a hundred seeds in a coffee can. Now he's the man. Cashcrop, he was hitching a ride, and I was grooving around in a rag top. Cashcrop, one and rode in the town, the party goes on nonstop. No one knows how he struck gold, or how he went from cold to hot. Cashcrop, he's a high roller, I'm on the beat. I drank Tennessee with ice from a crystal glass. Got a girl in jacuzzi with a J-Lo booty and a dude that cuts his grass. Got a new suit, gator shoes, just took a party cruise and came back all tan. But he better watch out, they're gonna find out. He's a man. Cash crop. He was hitching a ride and I was cruising around in a rag top. Cash crop, one and rolled in the town. The party goes on nonstop. A G man know how he got his dough, and they gonna put a stop to his cash crop.
He got five in a state pen, but he gets a grin thinking about being free. Cause buried in his backyard is a mason jar plumb full of them seeds. Cash crime! He went and grew him a cash, cash crop. And went to jail for a cash, cash crop. He should have stuck the soybean. group that we love and idolize, a group called Seldom Seen. Excuse us, this dead air brought to you by Adam's Funeral Home. This song was written by Herb Peterson. Uh, one of my favorites, and a, and a good guy and a great writer, singer. It's a little song called Wait a Minute. Yeah. Oop, wrong song. <laughs> Y'all talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> this song was written by Herb Peterson. One of my favorite writers and singers. And, and it's a little song called Wait a Minute. Oh, sorry, wait. This song was written by Herb Peterson. One of my favorite writers and singers. It's a little song called Wait a Minute.
without a rest I gotta hold on 29 to go and once again you hear say hey wait a minute did you hear you say you're going far away again I can't take the morning nights without your love. Thank you so much. We don't normally do songs that that uh, that are outside the box like that. <laughs> normally we stick to our roots, if you know what I mean. And, and uh, we're that's that's why I'm bringing this up is because we're so thankful to sign with Mountain Home Records and uh, Mountain Home uh, is a uh, man. They're putting out some fantastic bluegrass music and some of the top in our industry and to be signed to that label is a big deal for us and we're so thankful uh, yeah thank you we just put out this song a week ago friday it's our first release of this new stuff that we're doing and we'd like to unveil that to you tonight and uh this song y'all is about as american as the original artist that did it, Justin Bieber. <laughs> and, uh... It's a little love song called Baby. We hope you enjoy it.
just can't believe we ain't together. I wanna play it cool, but I'm losing you. I try anything, I'll buy you a ring. I'm in pieces, baby, fix me. Shake me till you wake me from this battery. so much if you notice this next album it's it's gonna be as grass as blue bonnet or fescue I don't even know what that means <laughs> it sounded good but this next song we'd like to do is is kind of a kind of a party anthem now of ours since last week and uh, we've adopted it it's, it's really been a fun song to play and uh, if you feel like dancing please don't <laughs> there's not enough room and JT tells me they're not covered for that kind of thing <laughs> did, you, <laughs> did, you, did you get your tube fixed over there the tape broke that was the problem this isn't regulation Oh, it's not regulation bluegrass tape, is no. it? <laughs> not up to code. No, it's not up to code. Uh, you need that duct tape is what you need. Duct tape will fix anything. A boat. Airplane. Your banjo talk box. So this next song, we hope you enjoy it. Let's do that ignition song for these folks. We've, we've hardly, we played this last week first time at a place called Rocky Grass in Lyons, Colorado, and it started raining straight down, and them folks got up and danced. Don't do that. We're not covered for that, like I said. And please, by all means, keep your clothes on. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Hope you enjoy Be rude, but hey, pretty girl, I'm feeling you. The way you do what you do reminds me of my Lexus coupe. So I'm all up in the grill trying to find a hotel. Must be a football coach, the way I'm playing the field. So give me that toot toot, let me get that beep beep. Running her hand through my fro, bouncing on 24s like this ain't on the radio. It's a remix edition, hot and fresh out the kitchen. Mama rolling that body, got every man in here wishing. Sipping on coke and rum, I'm like, so what I'm from. It's a stinking weekend, baby, I'm about to have me some fun. Bounce, 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 bounce. It's like murder, 
the road Once I get her out them clothes Privacy's on the door Still a search anymore Girl, I'm feeling what you're feeling No more hoping and wishing I'm about to take my key and stick it in the ignition Give me that toot toot Let me get that beep beep Rolling her hand through my fro Bouncing on 24's like they say on the radio it's a remix of Nation Hard and fresh out the kitchen. Mama rolling that body, got every man in your wish. Sipping on coke and rum, I'm like, so what I'm drunk. It's a stinking weekend, baby, I'm about to have me some fun. Remix of Nation Hard and fresh out the kitchen. Mama rolling that body, got every man in her wish. Sipping on coke and rum, I'm like, so what I'm drunk. It's a stinking weekend, baby, I'm about to have me some fun. It's a remix of Nation Hot and Fresh Out the Kitchen Mama Rolling that body, got every man in her wish Sipping on coke and rum, I'm like, so what I'm drunk It's a stinking weekend, baby, I'm about to have me some fun Girl, we off in this Jeep with the windows up Cranking radio in the back of my truck Bouncing up and down, stroking round and round To the remix, we just struggling out We just thuggin' out. We just thuggin' out. We just thuggin' out. Fresh out the kitchen, mama rolling that body, got every man in your wish. Sipping on coke and rum, I'm like, so what I'm drunk. It's a stinking weekend, baby, I'm about to have me some fun. That's just a little preview of some of the old-timey bluegrass that we're doing <laughs> on this next album. Bring it. But you know, we couldn't do a show without paying tribute to somebody who's very special to me, and that's my late wife. She, uh, she's the mom of my two boys, Digger Jr. and Digger Jr. Jr. And uh, we lost her 
in a tragic mayonnaise farming accident. She, uh, she was whisking in the egg yolks. <laughs> when the paddle wheel got a hold of her apron string and pulled her in. And a lot of young folks don't know that mayonnaise is a lot like quicksand. <laughs> the more you struggle, the more you sink. And uh, I just, I just like to say to any of y'all, if you ever get stuck in a big vat of mayonnaise, <laughs> promise me you won't struggle. You'll just yell, "Help! I'm in mayonnaise." <laughs> And hopefully somebody be there to, to pull you out, but there wasn't nobody there for her. Her last words were <laughs> We have a jar of her on the mantle. <laughs> Every time the boys get to missing her, they go make a sandwich. And, <laughs> and then they get dysentery because she expired six years ago. <laughs> but you know, this time of year, the fall of the year, it reminds me of her. I met her at the Arkansas State Fair. I was guessing weights. Of course, of course, at the Arkansas State Fair, we don't really guess weights. We guess what you dress out. <laughs> I knew y'all would get that. Uh, must be a lot of folks from Kentucky here. <laughs> But I, I decided to take me a break, and I was walking up the midway, and and had this sign that said, "In this, they had this big old tent, and a sign that said, Ex Extreme Micro Wrestling." <laughs> I'm thinking, how extreme could that be? But I went in there anyhow, and they introduced her. And that was her theme music. <laughs> she was also riding a My Little Pony. And she won her match and she stole my heart. So I went around to her Barbie trailer and I said, Would you like to go for a walk? She said, She said, she said, sure. Yes. I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, it breaks me up every time I think about her. <laughs> I said, would you like a corn dog? And she said, I'll take a stickless corn dog. She always got the stickless kind because <laughs> of her dental work or lack thereof. She was missing a couple teeth. She was missing all of her teeth. <laughs> Except for them three right in front. They were just little black nubs up against the gum line. Every time... <laughs> Every time she smiled, it looked like she had a mouth full of crickets. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I love to hear her whistle. I remember, <laughs> I remember <laughs> one sultry evening, I was kissing the mole on her sweaty neck, and, and it turned loose. And that's when I realized we had a tick problem. <laughs> that's the year I got her that loves collar for our anniversary. It's the gift that keeps on giving six to eight months. But I know you watching, little shorty. I know you watching. And I want to dedicate this song to you. <laughs> Let me talk. Short stacking, I'm a big man. We rockin' from the back. I need my midnight snack, tick tack, tally whack. Shorty, take me home. Got, got the map on bottom, jean jean boots with the fur. With the fur. The whole club was looking at her. She hit the floor. Hit the floor. Next thing you know, shorty got low, 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 low. Got the baggy sweat paints and the Reeboks with the strap. With the string. Turn around and gave the she hit the flow, hit the flow. Next time you know, sure to get low, 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 low.
boots with the fur, with, with the, the fur. fur. The whole club was looking at her. She hit the floor, hit the floor. Next time she goes, she's gonna get low, 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 low. Got the baggy sweat pants and the Reeboks with the strap, with the strap. Turned around and gave the big booty a slap. Hey. Hey. She hit the floor, hit the floor. Next time she goes, she's gonna get low, low. Thank you.